Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how we can create a Spark data type schema from a string. Okay, so Spark or we can say PySpark have one method that is called underscore parse underscore data type underscore string. So with the help of this function we can create a a stuck type or we can say spark data type schema from a list or we can say from a string okay so let's get started so let me copy this function and let me go to my community addition cool so for an example uh, uh for an example uh, we have you know we have one uh, one student file not let's say we have one data so let me prepare one data first and here i'll i'll add here the uh, one comma my name Sagar and let me put age my age is 25 years old not 25 26 and then let me put one more column or we can say one more data that is uh, 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 let's say 70 okay which is the marks and let me just keep this in one bracket so this is this is the one row okay likewise i can create multiple rows so let me create another row and here let me give a name alex and the age will be like uh, uh, 30 cool and the marks will be like 80.00 cool now if i want to create a schema uh, sorry not a schema if i want to create a data type then uh, what would I do is that I'll just write here spark dot create data frame cool and first parameter will be a uh, data and second parameter will be a schema okay so my I haven't prepared a schema uh, yet so just let me let me uh, you know uh, run this command and let's see what will happen see it is saying that cannot merge type and okay field 4 is not mapped mm. cool now if you can see here that you know the first column uh, name is underscore one then underscore two underscore three and underscore four and but you can also see that you know the data type is long is string long double but i want to keep my first data type as an integer okay second will be a string format third will be an integer again and fourth will be a double or we can say float format okay so in order to do that what i can do what I have to do is that I have to uh, prepare a schema. So I'll just write down here a schema is equal to uh, what a schema is equal to id that is a, that is an integer format. So int comma what else I can write? I can write here uh, name that is in string format comma age that will be in uh, integer format right and the last one is marks that will be in a float format so let me write here float cool and the sec and pass this schema uh, 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 variable in the uh, create data frame method now you can see this looks perfect right but you might have seen that I have passed the schema I have passed the schema in the string format but I do not want to this I want to pass this schema into the struct type method or struct field method right so what I can do is that PySpark have one function okay have one function PySpark dot sql dot function import this cool and just run this okay this is database functions pyspark dot sql dot functions right okay let me let me check out okay type sorry my bad yeah so here here i have to write here type and just run this cool see now this is my schema variable right so what i will do i will just write here schema new okay 
and I'll just call this function and inside this I will pass my original schema not original schema the uh, string schema okay and instead of schema let me pass here schema underscore new cool and now right here df uh, uh, now just print schema underscore new then you can see here the schema is looking like this struct type struct, struct field and so on now you might have seen that the third parameter is true by default in each of the column but I do not want that sometime you know we need to specify which column uh, should have a null value which column doesn't have a null value or should not have a null value right so suppose if I take this example again okay if I take this example again and uh, I'm assuming that ID should not be null okay so let me pass here not null constant and everything will be same now if I run this then you can see over here is that the first column having the third parameter false and rest of the columns having two okay the value is two in the third uh, attributes it means this name can have null values age can have null values and marks can have null values but in uh, but id cannot have any null value okay cool now the third example uh, or the third uh, uh, what we can say the third way the third example will be sometimes we need to uh, use a map or you know array kind of thing right sometimes we need to uh, use array 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 or map columns right map data type we can say so uh, how we can use or uh, you know how we can convert the string uh, string into this stack type or uh, the spark data frame type so let's say the marks see one id i mean one uh, one student can have multiple marks right in multiple subjects so what i will do i have to make this uh, marks as a array format cool and yeah that's cool now just run this okay it's showing another it's showing float type 2 cannot have object 70 per uh, field marks array type flow 2 cannot have object 70.0 in type error only right i guess i have to use here the double let's see okay it's also throwing error no let me just use here float and it is saying that uh, array double type 2 cannot have uh, object 0 in type okay okay so you see we did here some one mistake is that see we are trying to insert we are trying to insert a single value single value i mean not a single value we can say a variable variable or you know uh -huh, yeah variable into the uh, array data type so what i have to do i have to create this as a list okay so let me just uh, use here bracket cool and now once I run this then you can see here the last column marks having array type okay and inside this we have float type 2 and the last column is also 2 which is it, it should have a uh, not uh, I mean null values now if I use here not null then you can see the last parameter of this column is false okay so uh, see what I have done I have uh, I have uh, I have written a blog on this okay the same topic i have chosen and you can see uh, step by step i have uh, i i have used the concept here also okay you can see like you can use not null constant also in the schema you can also convert complex data types like array or map and so on okay so this is my website okay i have created and i used to write here some blogs or tech blogs basically on data data breaks data uh, data data structures so python sql and so on so if you if you are liking my 
कंटेंट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई एंड प्लीज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई न्यूज लेटर ओके सो दैट यू विल गेट अ लेटेस्ट ब्लॉग और आर्टिकल वेन एवर आई पब्लिश अ न्यू आर्टिकल ओके सो चलो थैंक यू बाय